Bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Happy New Year! And welcome back to the Senior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson of today is called Winter's Light and Shadow. For today's lesson, you will need an eraser, colored pencils, especially white and blue coloring pencils, and a piece of blue construction paper. Today's lesson is about the planes of the shape. When someone is asked to draw a shape, most people will draw a square, triangle, or circle. These are two-dimensional shapes. They only have one plane. If someone were asked to draw a three-dimensional shape, they might employ perspective to create the illusion of a three-dimensional shape, like a cube or a triangular prism. By doing this, you are creating the illusion of many planes. The cube has six planes, front, back, top, bottom, right, and left. When someone is shading, they have to imagine how light would move around these planes, as if they were actually three-dimensional. The farther the light travels, the less it shines. Which means, the farther a plane is from the light source, the darker it will be. This piece is called Emily Sargent. It's a portrait by John Singer Sargent, made with oil paint on canvas back in 1877. An artist will often choose a subject with a more complex shape than a cube. While it may be more demanding, the light is still added as moving over the imaginary three-dimensional planes. Looking at Emily's head, we can see that the light comes from the front, top, left, because brighter colors are at the front of her head, her face, which is turned to our left. Additionally, the brightest bright colors are at the top of her head. If we were imagining this as a simpler three-dimensional shape, we can imagine her face as the front plane, the top of her head as the top plane, and the side of her head, including her cheek, chin, ear, and hair, as the side plane. We can now imagine the light hitting the forehead and hair first, the top plane, flowing down the face, front plane, and around to the side of the head, side plane, losing its brightness, as it gets further from its source. This piece is called Muddy Alligators. It's a painting by John Singer Sargent, made with graphite and watercolor on paper, back in 1917. Where is the light coming from in this painting? I believe it's coming from the top center right. How can you tell? The brightest colors are actually on the top plane of the alligators and slightly to the right plane. Since light only travels in a straight line, one plane can block light from hitting another plane. These are called cast shadows. There are many cast shadows in this painting. Our project today is called Shaded Snowman. With your white pencil, start by drawing three overlapping spheres for the basic shape of the snowman. Now, draw the details of your snowman. Now, you can draw your snowman any way you want. You don't have to follow the way I'm doing it.
Now draw a curved line behind the snowman to re represent the hill it is standing on. All right, let's make the light source coming from the front top left. Imagine the light hitting the surface of each sphere. With your white pencil, color the front top left side of each sphere. Put more white where there is more light and less as it goes around the surface of the sphere and away from the light source. With your blue pencil, color the back low right side of the spheres. Put more blue where there is the least light and less as it goes around the surface of the sphere and towards the light source. Now with your blue pencil, color a cast shadow beneath the hat, scarf, second ball, and bottom ball. Put a cast shadow anywhere else you think there should be one. Anything that is on top of something else will cause a cast shadow.
Now with your white pencil, color the ground lightly, more on the left and less on the right. With your blue pencil, you can add the shadow side to your ground as well. Starting from the right, put more blue and make it become less as you move towards the left. Now all you have to do is color the rest of your snowman with your coloring pencils. Thank you, my friends, for joining Senior Elementary Art Class. I hope you had fun. I hope you did some great art. And I will see you next week. Au revoir.